Hello, I'm Gordy, Uber Airbus expert, also known as Spoonie G. I'm going to talk to you further about my airbrushing techniques on fondant and buttercream cakes. Airbrushing is something anyone can learn. It might not, it might look difficult here, but it just takes a little time and practice, and you really can learn how to do it. Today, I'm going to, to airbrush a picture of an equestrian favorite since Roman times. He served as flank guard for the Roman legions. This is the famed Frisian horse from the Netherlands. I'm going to start laying out my design right now for you just so we can get this project started. I start out laying the design out with airbrushing and stencil. My main way of designing something is freehand, but I'm going to use a little stencil also. I custom make my own stencils, which is part of my part of the technique that I use to make my designs a little unique there. When putting the design on a fondant cake, like in this particular case, you want to do start out with the darkest part of the design. In this case, it'll be the nose and the eyes pretty much. And go. When I do the design on this cake, I'm going to start out with the darkest part first, like the eyes and the nose, and then start filling the horse in lightly. I'm not going to see much of a change for a little bit. By the stencil that I custom made myself, as I said earlier, to aid me with where I'm going to position parts of the hair and other parts of the design on this fondant cake design. Now I'm going to start filling in the horse a little bit, our Phrygian horse. I'm going to start adding some fine detail in here, start getting that uber detail that I like to claim to have here. And now I'm going to really start adding as much detail as I can and then move on to the more subtler and vibrant colors that are going to add the punch to this kind of a design. I really need to go for the characteristics of this horse right now. A true fan of this kind of horse is going to know exactly if I know what I'm doing or not. This is not just your Sunday go to meeting kind of horse silhouette here. I have to show the kind of horse it is also. The more folds and layers and little textures and vein work you can add, the more dramatic the design becomes. And using black, it's a challenge anyway. But in its challenge, it has, does something that you can't do with any other color all the subtleties you can add in vein work and shadowing. I think I'm going to stop on this right now and start adding color here because this is pretty much good to go. Anything else I put on here is just going to be icing on the cake. Some of my pre-made stencils are just right for the occasion. Custom made by me. Again, I don't want to just blow the color in there. I want to try to have some kind of little design element to it even though I am using a stencil. I also want to do it so that it has a little bit of a fade, fades away near the bottom. I can still add a little bit of muscle texture. Even though all I'm doing is a very loose, a loose stencil. 